a pizza shop mix. And today, I make a pizza appeal and a pizza cutter. Forget about it. What's up everyone, welcome to Peach Shop Makes. And no, I won't continue to uh, offend anybody with my terrible uh, Italian video game plumber uh, voice impersonation. But um, anyways, this week, uh, for my cousin's wedding, actually a wedding gift, I went ahead and made this pizza peel with a matching pizza cutter. They are made out of Australian mahogany and some alder. Um, alder doesn't turn too great on the lathe, and I found that out when trying to turn the handle for this guy. And um, actually, this was supposed to be one piece as well, like the template that I made here. But uh, you'll see in the video uh, some of the things I had to alter and kind of flew by the seat of my pants. But all in all, it was a fun little build. And if you're interested to see how I did it all, stick around. Alrighty, first things first, I got some alder and some Australian mahogany. Um, I book matched these two. Um, I'm not sure which pieces I'm going to use for my accent pieces on the inside of the peel, but uh, we'll figure that out later. But for right now, let's go ahead and get these cut down to width, and then I'll get the uh, handle glued up and we can get it turned on the lathe. <laughs> Well, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I think I can still save this little change of plans. Alrighty, let's try that again. So I have another piece of wood here, uh, another piece of alder, and I came up with a little bit different idea. I think what I'm going to try is do a uh, threaded insert and then just have the handle screw onto that. In order to make sure that the handle goes on straight and it's not crooked. I need to make sure that my end is perfectly straight and not crooked. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a shooting board. I have a machinist square. And that looks pretty dead on to me. So okay, now we can mark center and drill our hole. Alrighty, now we can go ahead and get the panel all glued up. And while I'm waiting for glue to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and make my little router template out of some uh, quarter inch paint grade hardboard. So let's go ahead and do that now. When making this template, you'll notice me using this tool here, and it's basically just a contour bow, which is just a thin piece of alder and some leather string that I use to mark all the curves. We've got everything uh, marked out the way we want. Now we can go ahead and cut it on the bandsaw. Just a little hand work to do there, but I think the rest of it uh, came out pretty good. See how it looks. Pretty straight. Not too bad. Okay. Now that we got our board all sanded, nice, smooth, and flat, we can go ahead and double side tape it to our template. And using a spiral upcut flush trim bit, we can get it uh, cut out. So let's go ahead and do that now.
pretty happy with the way that turned out. Now I can go ahead and epoxy in the um, screw for the insert and finish up the handle on the lathe and then uh, get started on the pizza cutter. go ahead and epoxy this in place once I get the threads kind of screwed in. All right, there we go. Adds a nice little detail, I think. All right, now we can go ahead and turn the cutter. This is all the same wood that's in the pizza peel. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start turning this down to uh, the handle shape. Good. That right there is why I'm thankful that I have two of these. Well, now I guess I better get started on the next one. Oh, little change of plans. The, uh, the two-tone wasn't working out, so I just had to go straight mahogany. And it looks like a giant cigar or a turd. There we go. Now we can get on with uh, finishing this bad boy up. We're on the home stretch. It's always important though, before you finish your work, you gotta make sure you sign it. <laughs> now we can get on with the finishing. That is hot. This is my own proprietary blend, mineral oil, beeswax, and walnut oil. Scorching hot, just took it out of the microwave. I really want to work that in there as soon as it starts to solidify. There you go guys thanks for hanging out with me sticking around checking it out i appreciate it don't forget to give it a like subscribe share it with your friends and as always i will catch you on the next one